Hey, it's Terry N6 TLU with a new gadget. It's a one megahertz crystal calibrator that plugs right in to the National 173 and 183 receivers. Gives you capabilities that you've never had before. Take a look. Well, let's go over what it takes to install the D-Lab XCU-1M calibrator on your National 173. You can also install this on a 183 and a 109 and maybe others that I haven't considered yet. Anyway, when you look at the radio, the first thing you see different is here where the phono plug was, there is now the switch. This is a rotary switch. So it turns the calibrator on and off just as you rotate it. So no, there's no on off indicator, but you can tell when it's on, okay? On and off, all right. Now, let's go underside and see what's required circuitry-wise to make the calibrator work. So here is the rear of the National 173. Pop my module off. This is the stock accessory octal plug that was on the radio for other accessories, which I don't know what they are. But I wanted a calibrator, so I've devoted this socket for the XCU-1M. So that simply plugs in on the back of the radio. Yeah, it's a little tight. And then I'll show you what's required underneath. Well, here we are, bottom side of the 173. We're gonna be working in this cavity, which is the same cavity that your RF gain control's in. And this is where that old phono quarter inch plug used to be, okay? So you remove that and then the 0.01 capacitor coming off of this control that normally went to the jack and that back down to these two wires, you're going to remove the jack and simply splice those two together, put some heat shrink on there obviously to stop it from shorting out. So here's the new switch. You're gonna extend the wires and they wrap around the radio back to that octo plug, okay? Now if you look at your schematic, you'll see that pin eight used to have the high voltage lead on it. You're gonna lift that wire and the switch is gonna go in series with pin eight, okay? Let me get close up on this and I'll show you the rest of the changes. Well, here is my nifty diagram of that rear plug. So there's pin eight that we just talked about. The high voltage coming from the 173 switch now will switch the power on and off to eight. And that is what obviously turns on the calibrator. Pin 5 is ground. Pin 7 is your filament supply, and that's all stock. What you're going to do is you're going to remove the jumper that used to go from 5 to 2. So 5 and 2 were both grounds at one time. 2 now is your antenna lead out. Let me show you that in the radio itself. So here we are again. There's pin one, and there's our new pin two, which is the antenna lead out. That goes right over to your antenna input terminal. As I said, the B plus is being switched on pin eight. This ground runner that you see here that went to five used to continue over to two. You're simply gonna snip that off. And that's it. After that, this calibrator will work like it was meant to be in this receiver. So from doing a little research, I found that there are some of these National 173s out there that do not have the accessory socket. May have been an earlier model. However, this outer cutout is there. So you can simply install an octal jack. I'll provide you with the wiring information and you can plug in your external calibrator. Alright, so we have the National 173 and the D-Lab XCU-1M is installed on the rear panel. I'm on 80 meters, so let's say I want to listen to the guys on the AM net at 3.85, okay? So you need to line up the dials. They show a dot here, which usually is not very accurate. But with the calibrator, you can get this frequency exactly where you want it. So let me give you an example. I'm gonna put this dial right at four megahertz, okay? The calibrator's not on. I'm gonna turn it on. Now we're going to adjust the main tuning to zero beat. 
There it is. Okay. Bring my sensitivity back. You can see it. See the peak? Bring it back a little more. There we are. We're right on frequency. So now, let's find our 80 meter guys. At this point, you don't touch the main tuning dial anymore. They should be down here. There they are. Right where you would expect to find them. Got a lot of noise on the band this morning. All right, let me show you an example up on 40 meters. Okay, I've switched to the 40 meter band. Same deal. You look for that dot for the hand band, which is around there. Find 7 megahertz on your band spread dial. Turn on the calibrator. Get her at 7. And there she is. Bring the sensitivity back. Here we go. Peek it. And now you are right on 7 megahertz. All right, let's see if there's any AMers on 40. I doubt it, but we'll see. It should be up here. I'm not finding any. All right, so now let's zero beat the calibrator against WWV. So to use just your main tuning dial, the book tells you to put your band spread at set. So now we're going to do the opposite. Okay. Turn on the calibrator where it's set, and now over here we'll look for the calibrator. There it is. Yeah, that's him. Now WWV should be sitting there. And there it is. So you can see the calibrator puts out a marker every one megahertz, which is really handy on these old analog dial type receivers. Obviously the best way to get your dial set is just follow National's instructions. You go to set, you find the dot, okay? And at that point, you're on frequency. I will go back down to 80 meters. Once again, there's the dot, and then four megahertz. There she is. Bring my sensitivity back, peak it. I'm on frequency. And you can see I'm not on the dot because this radio is out of calibration still. I have not adjusted it. Let's go over here and find the 80 meter guys. Short time, no traffic. Good morning, John. There they are. WN X-ray box, short time, no traffic. Good morning, John. Good to hear you. We got an agitator on the band. Kilo 5, uniform, Julia. Short time, no traffic. Good morning, John. Good to hear you. What a great addition to these old receivers, huh? So yes, in case you're wondering, I will be selling the XCU-1M modules, but I'm only able to make a small quantity of them. Parts are hard to get. So if you really want one, send me an email and we'll go from there. Thanks for tuning in.